Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Transport Fever. No bridge challenge, I'm Nexus. You're joining me outside of Fiorina 161 where the dueling Mikados have uh, fought for which, for which train is going to get to the first side of the track first. And it looks like the train to probably out to Rebecca. Oh, I was right. The train out to Rebecca has won the match. So, Rebecca is going to go out that way. This one's going to wait until a free path has become clear, which doesn't seem like a long time. Uh, that's not good. Let's get a, a signal here real quick. And Oh, wait, there's a signal there. So, there is a signal there. Just the train was blocking it, and that's why we couldn't see it. Or maybe we were just too close and couldn't see it. Anyway, the point is is that the, the, the mixed consist trains are moving around, doing the things that they need to do. Rebecca is receiving nothing yet because I think the last time we played this we didn't have time to let it run. So it's actually just picking up whatever it picked up, which is 25 food and no fuel. Anyway, that's going to be what it is today. More on the side of freight and less on the side of passengers. So why don't you take five seconds to enjoy the intrepid intro and we'll get today's agenda underway. Alright, welcome back folks. Alright, so as much as I let the game run ahead by about five or six years just to try and get some profit back into the bank account, I have done a couple of train upgrades. I have upgraded the cattle train, uh, the fuel, uh, the oil train, and uh, one of the transport trains from uh, from home base into the town of Ariga. Uh, I decided that we're going to focus our attention toward passengers with a couple of airports, so let's get that going. We only have a small airport for the time being. We're just going to use one terminal, and we need to figure out the best place to set it up. Um, I was looking around the map, and since they work in kind of like sections, to kind of look at the map as half and half, but in this case, we're going to look at the map in three quarters. So there's this quarter over here, there's this quarter over here, and then there's the mainland. I was thinking um, the most passenger buildup at the moment is currently at Ariga. And I was thinking maybe if we connected an airport out here somewhere, maybe even connect it right up to the uh, the train station? Would that work? I mean, do we want town to build out this way, or is it enough to let it build out this way? I think it's enough to let it build out that way, and if we connect the airport right to the station itself, is it going to cost us more or less? It's going to cost more. So let's do it by a road, which is fine. People can get right off the right off the, the, the train and get right on the plane. Oh, sounds good to me. i to plop that in right there for a million. All right, and then we're gonna need some road. Ooh. Definitely going to need some road. That's not gonna work, is it? It's not. Darn the luck. All right, so. That's not. We just wasted a million putting that in, and it's not going to work. That's that's lovely. That is lovely. But if we do something like this, I don't think it matters. I don't think. I, I still don't think it's going to work. Yeah, it's it's not going to work. We have we have we've we've botched it. We're going to have to delete the whole of the thing and do it again. Wow, that's a million dollars down the tube. Wonderful. So, let's do something like this. Let's delete the airport first. You only, it took you 37 grand to delete it to. Wow, thanks game. Alright, so we put this in here. It's kind of off-centered, but I think it's fine. We get this airport back in here again and connect it up. Like that. Shebang. Okay, good. Nice. Let's do this, smooth this out a little bit. Not that we have the money to be wasting on smoothing, but we'll do it anyway. Um, I was going to say we should put a, a stop in here. And maybe even a road, too. But from, like, right here. There we go. And then should uh, people choose to build their houses over here, next to the train and the airport, they, they're welcome to do so. We'll need a way to connect this over to the other side. We're going to not worry about that right now. We'll worry about it later. Let's just get the rest of the airports in. All right, so there's the central mainland airport here. And then I was thinking... That's awfully far away. Will, that, will it work? Well, it better, because if not, then it's a waste of money. It will work. It has to get set in early in order to be profitable later. Um, I was thinking... Where can we put the next one? 
to put it at the corner cities, that would work for sure, you would think, right? Why is it so expensive right there? Let's get it over here somewhere where it's not so expensive. My goodness. Um, and then we want to connect up to this, my dear child. There, we'll take it right there. Let's loop this road back. You can always put the road back in, which is fine. Just connect it up like that. Good, good, good. Right. All right, now we need one more. I think we need one more airport uh, to drive into the central airport. So if we call that, this, we'll call this quarter one and then this quarter two, and then that's the mainland, then we need another airport, roughly, it's over there, right? Right, so we need another one roughly over here somewhere. Let's put it at, uh, we could put it at Tracker, or we could put it at EEV. Either one is probably good. Let's put it at Tracker, if we can get it in cheap. If we can't, we'll look somewhere, we'll look elsewhere. Um, now, we know the track's going to go out that way, so let's not block it if we can help it. That's expensive for an airport. I'm not paying $6 million for an airport. You, you've you yawned something game, and I don't like it. Uh, that's even expensive. $1.6 million for, an, for a bloody airport. Okay, look. Now, if I delete this back... Put the airport in here, possibly. Yeah, for three. And I'm not paying three million. Okay, well I guess it's not going to Tracker then. Let's put it at uh, Gateway. Gateway doesn't even have a station that you can connect it to. That's fine. We could always just put it out here. Flip it around. You're not paying four million. You can you can get bent game. Well, it looks like maybe there's only going to be two airports because no, the other places don't want to don't want to take the airport at a at a reasonable price. There was a reasonable price over here, but I have to be able to run the train this way as well. Maybe we can figure that out at another time. No, 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 no. We're not going to figure that out at another time. We're going to figure it out right now. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's this. Spending six million on an airport is blasphemy. Um, let's take a look here. Can we increase the? Can we get a yeah a boat, us another street connection there, and then maybe connect it up to the street connection at the train station? That would be awesome. Kind of like we did at the other place. But like that, awesome. It went in for a million. A million. I'm taking it. I take it. There, it's good. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we're hoping. that maybe people can just walk to the station, or to the airport. Or, what we could do, is pull this up. Close that down. Okay, and then get a couple of stops. And, uh, since the town is expanding outward, we can put a stop there, and then one there, and then one there. And then one there, and uh, one there, and then one there. Cool. Um, actually, let's put this one a little further back so it's not so, they don't look so, like they're so close together, bunched up on each other. Uh, put that one like right there's probably good. Thank you, autosave. Thank you, autosave. Train 18 is at its lifetime and it needs to be replaced. Okay, well, it's still making us money, so it's not going to be replaced right now, and we don't have the money really to replace trains right now. Um... Let's get back to this, and then this is going to go from 4, to 5, to 6, to 7, to 8, to 9, to 10. Um, we're going to delete 11 and 12 right from the map. We don't need them anymore because the towns are expanding. And this should help shuffle passengers to this airport. The other airports were built pretty close to the train stations. I think that those are going to be fine. So we need, what, two, uh, two new lines, two airlines, and we'll call this one, uh, oh, what can we call this? Um, we'll call this the Prometheus Charter. 
charter air. We'll make it um, this bluish color, or this sky color, I guess. And we'll make this one... Thank you for all of the new coaches. I appreciate it. We're going to call this one uh, Covenant Trans Air. Right. And this one's also going to be blue. Okay, so this one, Prometheus Charter, is going to go from Narcissus West to Auriga uh, Transfer. And then this one's going to go from Gateway East to Auriga Transfer. Right. And then we'll put, oh, I don't know, we'll probably put four airplanes, two on each line. That would probably be sufficient. Let's go over the old aircraft thing over here and get the D the Douglas DC-3s. Okay. One, two, three, four. And you can go on Covenant Trans Air. And you can go on Prometheus Charter Air. And we'll sit here for a moment. I don't know why we put this in here. Uh, maybe later it will become necessary, or maybe it was, you know, maybe it's a future Nexus helping out later future Nexus. Who knows? But I cannot see a reason why we would have put that there at this very moment. But it's very possible that we will need it. That tank, that plane's taken off, going to, can't remember, Covenant Trans Air, and then this one's going to go to Prometheus Charter Air. So that one's going to head off that way. Right. Okay, great. You're still climbing? You are. It seems kind of odd that you're still climbing. There you go. Now you've leveled out. Alright, and then this one can go to Covenant Trans Air, since that one's already halfway across the map. Land yet? He sure didn't. Where is he? Yeah, they just came in for a landing. And uh, this one, oh, this one can go to the Prometheus, Prometheus Charter Air. Right. All right. So that's that. That's airport setup. Uh, we're starting to get some good money coming in. Let's pay back some of the loan. We're down to six million owed on the loan, and all of this nice little stuff has been set up. I'm hoping to push some more materials through this place. A little bit faster. Oh, you're only waiting for one to be full. Okay, that's fine. Uh, not a big deal. Could be worse. What's this? Is this Rebecca? You are taking 22 of 30 and 32 of 32. You haven't started making us any cash yet, but I think that the intermediate products going from city to city will be made up for by the passenger trains and the delivery of um, said base products since they seem to make the most money. Like, crude oil being delivered usually makes a couple of million. Um, fuel being delivered from the transfer makes a couple of million. Corn or corn and um, or grain and cows being delivered into the factory makes a couple of million. So the intermediate trains that are costing us a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars a year to run and get stuff back and forth from um, from hub from hub station to city is okay because the running cost or the cost for everything else that's coming in is uh, is covering it. So we're just above probably just above swimming level. Let's take a look at the lines. Okay, so we've got the cattle making a million a year, crude's making, oh, crude just made 2.52 million, so it's making about 2.5 million every four or every four minutes. Cattle's making a million every nine minutes. Fuel transfer's making 1.5 million every five minutes. Those times could come down a little bit, and then we've got everything else making money in in like you know 90 seconds, a minute, a couple of minutes. Uh, 11 minutes on the Rebecca Max Consist, but it's only it's making us 104 grand, so it's in the green. That's good. Wayland Utani Passenger Express is costing us 1.55 million dollars every six minutes, um, and then they got the other stuff over here that's costing us some money, which is like the ferry and um, the airplanes who just went into business. But the money that we are making is outweighing the money that we're losing, at least currently. Maybe not for the full year, but at least for part of the year, and that'll get better over time. 
What I need to get better is this Wayland yutani passenger line. Why? And the Prometheus line. Why are these mon costing us so much money? Because they have more passengers waiting than they're delivering. Okay, well, let's go see if we can fix that. So, the Prometheus line. That's a colony loop, so that's definitely not it. I think that's this one right here. Yeah. You're not making us a whole lot of cash, are you? How many vehicles are we talking? four and they're out of date all right so if i was to say how much does that one cost 22,000 a year 47 uh 47 it only goes 47 why does it only go 47 we're gonna need a bigger we're gonna need a better train on there we don't have the money for it, but we're gonna need a bigger train. We're gonna have to borrow the money. Um, let's see. Get this down a little bit. 2.5 million. I'd like to get maybe these on there. Those are expensive, though. Those are really expensive. 3.32 million per car, per train. You are you? Were you smoking game? 2.95 million. I like the sound of the, the engines for sure. Uh, this stuff goes too fast. I don't need I don't need it to go this fast. I need a cheap train for a cheap route. That's not too bad. Might be able to do that. Let's do the Atlantic. And you go 62, right? Right. So we can throw these wagons on there. Or these. These are cheaper. One, two, three. Five. They're already carrying those, but these carry five, and that needs 17.4 million dollars. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so, game. Um, we're gonna need something cheaper that goes just as fast. So those are more expensive. 47, 70. Yeah, these are these are really expensive trains. I mean, we could borrow the money from the bank, but do we really want to borrow the money from the bank is the question. This train needs to start making us more money, though, because right now it's not making us anything. Um, and that's a problem. I say... less than you did before. Oh my. Um, they're really old and they're not making us any money because they're not carrying enough people or enough passengers. Um, okay, well, let's take the money out. already paid for it so it's, that's a done deal there we know there's no complaining about it now we've already done it the money cannot be taken back as soon as those trains upgrade they will hopefully start making us some more cash because this line is supposed to be one of our most profitable it is one of our longer lines it goes all the way out to the other side it goes from narcissus all the way to asheron which was the name of the planet that they used in Alien that they landed on and found the facehugger egg thingies on the boat, or on the ship, whatever it was. The boat, the ship, um, the derelict, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to refer to it as, that's what these trains are, and they're supposed to be making us a crap ton of money, and they're not making us anything. <coughs> but they will start to make us money over time. Which is everything that this game is about is time. Everything is time based. Now, why are you waiting here? Because we got trains waiting. 
in ridiculous places, that's why. Why is there no... Maybe there's just... Okay, maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, if we put a signal there, then that just hinders up the, the main line of the track, and we definitely don't want that. Who's this? Is this Rebecca? This is Hadley, actually. Rebecca's going straight through. How much do you have on board? Oh, almost a full load of everything. That's cool. Good. I'm glad. I hope you make us some decent cash, because we really need it at this time. All right, we're down 750 grand, but that's going about to be changed with this fuel drive, uh, with this fuel delivery. About to be changed again with this delivery of uh, cattle. Down 1.5 again. Come on. How much you got for us? What did you make us? Ooh, 866 grand. Not bad. I'll take it. Let's hope that we can get some more stuff paid down before the end of the year. I would really like to get some money, more money paid down. And I just got hit with a freaking uh, something. Just paid a million. Because we were down 1.5 and now we're only down 500 grand. Uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, pay all of it back. Pay it all. Pay it all. Come on, give us a, give us some more, some more, give us some more cash. There we go. Dang, something, something's paying a million almost every month because we go down 1.7 million and then a million gets paid off, and then 1.5 million and a million gets paid off, and then uh, we're able to make some more cash and put it back into the bank balance loan, the loan balance banker thingy. Yeah, that. The guy who gives us the money to build this stuff. That's who. That's the guy I'm talking about. Uh, the lovely bank manager. Uh, the accountant. Whatever you would like to call it. That it tr entrusts us with these millions and millions of dollars to build this company. Down 1.96 million this month. We really need to get that down. This stuff needs to start paying off. Like, pronto. What about you? What are you doing? Your fuel. Okay, cool. And you are crude oil, and you're about to pay us dividends, right? Got 90 on board. How much are you going to pay us? A million. 1.69 million. Ah, I'll take it. I'll play that down. About to go bankrupt again at the end of the year. 1.6 million down. That's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Everything is great. We just have a lot of trains going back and forth at the moment. It's pretty cool. Enjoying the fact that we have all these trains running around. Slow this down. I want to get a screenshot. Stop! Alright, cool. Down 1.5 million again, of course. Let's run it at high speed. Try and get some stuff moving here. This stuff is, like, nice. I like how it kind of built over and around these stations. So whoever wanted trains in their backyard, well got trains in your backyard uh, one every couple of minutes actually I hope that's what you're I hope that's what you bargained for and we're anticipating when you moved in there Ooh, 999,000 I'll take it bank put that back on the loan put that back in to the bank can we get one more no we're gonna get 1.48 million down all right well coolio okay so I think that that's gonna wrap it up for today uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like and a comment. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. As you are aware, the chaos is mightier than the sword around here. I have been Nexus. This has been Transport Fever No Bridge Challenge. And you can see we have not made any bridges. We goofed in the very beginning and made that one bridge thinking that we were going to be cute about making a, a nice little land bridge. Pay this back while I have a chance. So, yeah, some payment. Oh, no, I missed it. Um, anyway. Make that little land bridge and then realize that, oh, well, somebody in the comments said, I thought we weren't supposed to make bridges, and yep, yep, that bridge had to come out. So, there you go. So, this is it. Everything goes from train to train to water, from ferry to town, and that kind of, all that kind of good jazz. Wayland Utani Passenger Express, you cannot be that old. You're not, you've not even been in service that long. You're lying to me, game. You're, 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 you're fibbing. Let's pay this back, so, before we run it before we lose it again down to six million on the bank loan we made 4.4 4 million last year lost or we're down 13.3 million the year before but that's because we took out money to buy that train 1.72 million the year before that and it looks like if we're lucky we're going to be up a couple of million this year as well but, ah, i missed it uh down at, but anyway down to six million and that should get, be uh taken care of at any time hopefully by the next time we're here we'll have passengers that are liking to ride on our planes oh there's already passengers ah there's eight of eight and how about you that's not what I wanted you to do. You have two of eight. So we are we are getting passengers moving around. I think connecting up to the directly to the station with the airport, kind of like Chicago does, um, was probably the smartest thing. Because they can just get off the train and be like, oh, I need to go across the country. 
and just jump on the plane right there, and then everything is all good. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.